Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's video we will be creating a wave background animation that looks truly awesome. We will be combining several solid layers and achieve extraordinary result in a simple way. This is a technique that everyone can use to improve the quality of their videos. And before we begin, like usual, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. And without any further ado, let's dive into the After Effects and start creating! Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's hit on this little icon or controller command plus N on your keyboard to create new composition. For me, this is gonna be final. And you can of course type here your own name for the width and height like usual, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration, type as many seconds as you want. For me, it's okay to leave it to around 10 seconds. Now hit OK and go right click to create new solid layer. This is gonna be background and then hit OK, also 1920 by 1080. Now go here in the facts and presets and if you can find this option, go Windows and you will find effects and presets here. First effect that we're gonna use is fill effect, drag and drop onto this background solid layer. Let's change color to pure black color, hit OK. And for the second effect, let's type CC Riddler and drag and drop onto our background solid layer. For the third effect, let's also add CC Light Sweep. OK, drag and drop onto the background. And let's also make further adjustments here on our CC Griddler effect. For the horizontal scale, instead of 100, type 15. And for the tile size, instead of 10, let's go 5. Now let's expand our width for this light sweep. For better seeing this Griddler and fill effect, instead of 50, let's type here 1000. OK. And also for the sweep intensity, instead of 25, type 40. And now this is looking cool, you can also play around here with the direction and this is looking nice. Let's also add another light sweep effect, just to drag and drop, OK. And for the width, let's type here now 200. For the sweep intensity, let's also type 40. And for the direction, you can also play around. Let's go maybe something like this. And this is already looking great. OK, and our next effect that we're going to use is Turbulent Displace. Go here again in the effects and preset, type Turbulent Displace, drag and drop onto the solid layer. And let's also make further adjustments for the displacement. Instead of this first option, change to Twist. And here for the size, instead of this 100, let's type 600. OK, and you can also play around with the offset. Everything is up to you, OK? Now go here at 0 frames, set up the first keyframe for evolution, then go to around 10 seconds and let's type here 1. Now hit 0 to show our animation and our wavy background is looking great. Alright, this was the first part of the tutorial and now let's add another solid layer, go right click to create new solid layer. This is gonna be just FN for fractal noise, also 1920 by 1080 hit OK, go again here in effects and preset and let's find fractal noise effect, OK, drag and drop onto this F and new solid layer and here let's also make adjustments. For the contrast let's try 400 and also for the brightness let's go instead of the 0, minus 100. For the complexity let's go to 2, now open up this transform option and for the scale let's go 1500 like so. Now let's also animate evolution here, go again at 0 frames, set up the first keyframe and then go to the 10 second and let's type here also 1. Hit 0, as you can see this is our fractal noise animation. Now let's hit here toggle switches and modes to find overlay blending mode and this is already looking great. And let's also add our final effect, this is gonna be tint effect, drag and drop onto the F and solid layer. And here basically you can play around with the white parts and black parts of the animation. And for this first option, map black to, I will do maybe dark gray color, like so. Hit OK. And for the second one, let's go something like this. Just play around until you're satisfied with your own final animation. Hit OK. Now hit 0. And our wavy background is looking nice. Now let's also add our text, hit Ctrl plus T or hit on this little icon and I will just type animation, random text. You can also use align, align it to the center. If you can't find align option, just go window, you will find align here, okay. 
I'm using this Roboto font, 180 pixels, and let's also animate this animation text. Open up this little triangle and go on animate, find here tracking, all right, and here let's also animate this tracking amount, set up the first keyframe, let's type maybe 100, it depends on your text size, then go to around 10 seconds and let's type here 0. Hit 0 here in the finals, now we have our text animation, and let's also add drop shadow on our text, go here again on the effects and preset, and let's find drop shadow effect, drag and drop onto the animation, let's go maybe for the distance 10, softness to around 20, Let's duplicate this drop shadow, control plus D, or go edit and then duplicate. Let's try for the distance 20 and for the softness here 100. And also now we have cool shadows on our animation text, hit zero. And as you can see, we have this cool animation of our wavy background and our animation text. What we can do also for the final step is to select background and fractal noise solid layer, go right click, pre-compose. I will just type here wave random text, hit OK, and now hit S, and let's go to 102 to prevent those edge bendings. OK, and as you can see now, our animation is looking great. Hit zero, and it's looking cool. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. As you can see, this was really easy technique to create this way we background animation. Hope you learned, like always, something new. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Also, take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. You can also leave me a suggestions down below in the comment section. And until next time, stay creative and bye-bye.